Hey folks, we're going to revisit adding a hard drive to the Dell Inspiron 3670. Now, I'm in Hawaii and my Dell Inspiron is back in Virginia, but uh, I'm just going to talk about a couple of other um, things that you can do to upgrade um, your Dell Inspiron or Ostro 3670. Uh, how to add more hard drives basically or uh, 2.5 inch solid state drive so we previously used this StarTech splitter uh, which would connect to uh, SATA power and gives you basically uh, three I believe it was three additional um, drives well of course if you're going to use your CD-ROM drive or DVD whatever it is um, one of those is, is taken. So the max amount of additional hard drives you could have is, uh, is three, right? So that thing works, works really good for that. Um, now additional opportunities are this other splitter here that will allow you, um, to split off of one, uh, cable and add uh, an additional drive okay so um, that enables you to have two hard drives two solid state drives or a hard drive and a solid state drive now the other thing that you can do is which this is where uh, one of uh, YouTube viewers called me out on um, you see on the motherboard layout there's there's five and there's eight so Five is the hard drive power cable connector, and eight is hard drive power cable connector. So you could use this device, and I'll have the link down below for it. Uh, plug that in, and that gives you. Now this device is the uh, the blue blue Exon, I guess, SATA 15 pin times two. So you're getting two um, SATA pin power connectors. Uh, that will go off of that additional um, mini six pin on your ATX motherboard. Now this is uh, looks like it's 12 inches long so um, this may work out pretty good considering you could leave the original uh, the way it is and add this to your other hard drive or solid state drive wherever you happen to find them. And just so you can see down below um, it does not actually list uh, Dell Inspiron 3670 down there, but all the other um, versions that were before it, 3668, um, the 3650, it worked for them, right? Now, if you go to the reviews, um, you will actually see that somebody says it worked with their 3670. Worked perfect for my Dell 3670. So, uh, though I have not personally tested this, I, I do believe this is accurate. So, um, but hey, there you go, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.